So as some of you guys know, we partially know what the next update is going to be. So here's Asimo's tweet. So first of all, he's going to discon or Asimo and Batsy C is going to discontinue some textures. They said skins, but I'm guessing it's going to be textures, probably not body colors, because why in the hell would they get discontinue like body colors? But I'm guessing it's going to be some textures. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'm just a little recap or refresh of what's going on here so for textures um i'm guessing they're gonna get rid of like the ones from season two like over a year ago a year and a half ago like the bacon one probably the money one the tiger one which is the creek craft one the wavy one uh what else the hot dog one the glowing yellow one, the orange pixel one. I think the cam, no, I don't think the camo one was, was for season two, but um, uh, the blue pixel one, I think. So yeah, I think all 10 of these from, from that season will will be discontinued. So they're getting rid of these. So uh, we'll find, we'll probably find out maybe like this week or next week or something like that. But I think I know what you guys are all excited about and waiting for. Simo tweeted that He's discontinuing a few cars, a couple cars, so I'm guessing like two or three cars in this game, probably two, but um, he's gonna, he's designing five new model, um, five new vehicle models for this game. So we're basically gonna get like five new cars in this game. Before we move on, Asimo did say that he wants a lot of all of the new cars to have interiors and he's gonna phase out kind of the old ones and I think this makes a lot of sense. So what I think he wants, I think I think he should make like all the cars that people use have interiors. But I think what he means is like maybe not get rid of the old ones, maybe replace them with ones like the interior, like the Lambo. I see a lot of people using the Lambo, and and they'll they'll probably still keep that in the game, but maybe just update it, add an interior. But he's probably I'm um, gonna get rid of a lot of the old vehicles that no one really uses. So I think some ideas of what I think they might be um, be doing. They should first of all they should get rid of this Porsche over here. Uh, it's slower than the Lambo. Basically costs the same, just a thirty grand difference. Um, yeah, this vehicle is just kind of bad, really. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually got rid of this. Um, so this is my first idea they could get rid of. So I did do another video e explaining about this kind of a few days ago, but I'm just gonna do a video like it again because i actually have more info and guys stay tuned for the end of the video because i'll be um, giving you guys more info that i haven't explained on my last video but here's the two cars i really think they would get rid of and maybe replace them by an um by like a um, newer model and add an interior and all that because the simo did say he's adding five new car models so plenty of room but they could get rid of the ferrari and mclaren i think these are very likely vehicles but they're pretty famous vehicles, so I think they should keep them in the game, like, in an updated version and added an interior buff to them. But I think another car I could really see them get rid of is the SUV. Like, they should just get rid of this, period. Like, don't add it back. Don't add it back, even if it, it's an interior. Just get rid of it, period. He, SEMO did say he wants to fade out the older vehicles. Um, I don't know if he means, like, fade them out and then bring them back with an interior or something like that. But... I think he, sh he should just get rid of some of these bad vehicles over here. And guys, don't get too excited because all the cars aren't going to have an interior at once. That would be like, Asimo did say it would be overwhelming for both him and everyone else, including me. I would get kind of overwhelmed. It would probably be a pretty long video for me showing you guys all the cars of the interior. But he's just going to do it like slowly, little by little. Like I'm guessing maybe each update each month they're going to have maybe like two or three cars with with an interior, um, something like that, like redesign them. But this month they're getting five, so that's good. So yeah, since I showed you the cars that I think they're gonna get rid of, I think they're gonna get rid of um, most likely the McLaren and Ferrari, but they could possibly get rid of the Porsche and SUV because I never see anyone use those and they should just keep the rest of the cars, honestly, in my opinion, I don't know for sure. I'm just guessing right here, but now i'll talk about the cars that i think their um Asimo is gonna update or that he's making five new models on so i don't think we're necessarily getting five new cars like brand new cars that's never been in the game like for example i don't think we're gonna get like a bmw i8 because 
he didn't say new vehicles he just said new vehicle models so they're just probably gonna update some of these cars in the games that don't have interior so my first idea and this is um this one i think they could do but they definitely have to update this the camaro this looks so outdated this was i think the first vehicle added along with the model 3 model 3 actually looks pretty decent for how old it is i mean yeah it could could be a lot better but here we're yeah there it is but it looks like a model 3 but this doesn't really look like a camaro that much even the older ones with which this one is based on they should replace it with the newest camaro the 2020 camaro or something like that and just add just make it more streamlined and add an interior all right another idea that they could remodel for the next update is the roadster over here this thing this thing is probably the newest car besides actually no it's it's the third newest car after the chiron and cybertruck and they need to replace this thing because i think this might be the number one vehicle i see the most people driving um it's probably tied between the chiron i also see a lot of people drive the cybertruck um but if they do update this, they should keep it how it is. I think this looks really realistic, but just add an interior to it. And speaking of Cybertruck, let's move on to our number three, which is indeed the Cybertruck. This actually should have been number four because this was added before the Roadster, actually. But yeah, they um, I guarantee this is the one they're going to add. Um, this is a likely one they, they could add an interior to also because Simo did say again... Um, that they want to add all of the new cars with an interior first. Um, so I'm guessing next update, they're going to add um, an interior to the Cybertruck. And it would be nice to to have the back gate open and you could lift like the ATV onto it or something. That would be really fun. Um, but yeah, Cybertruck is a li likely candidate for one of the five cars that are be being updated next update. So yeah. All right, guys, on to our number two um actually there's two cars for number two or actually no um but this might be come to a shocker to you guys but the torpedo over here so um i don't know if you guys saw but simo does actually um, want to bring back the seasonal vehicles for people to buy them again um but i don't think they're gonna update like the r8 and raptor i think those are too new i think those will come maybe in another update or so but um, if they do bring this back, they should update it a little bit. It just looks a little bit outdated, like, compared to the Roadster. Like, look at that. But, yeah, they should um, definitely bring it, th this back in an interior if they do end up bringing them back. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this thing looks awesome. This is probably one of the fastest vehicles in the game. I actually see a lot of people still drive this, even though it's discontinued. Um, and I don't know if I should make this number two with the Torpedo or just a number one, but... If they do bring back the Rachnid, they should do the same. Like, I think this thing looks awesome. I don't I don't care if they update or, like, revamp how this thing looks. But just bring it back with an interior and maybe a special feature. Maybe, like, transform or maybe jump really high with the vehicle or something that the Tumblr and, and the Batman movies actually do. So, yeah, I think, I think this is a likely one they could, if they do bring it back, they could add this with an interior. So yeah, those are the five cars. I guarantee they'll be updating and bringing them back with an interior and updating them and all that. But uh, if I were to add one more car, if they do do end up not bringing back like the seasonal vehicles, I think another likely one would be the over here with the Lambo. So yeah, th this is probably one of the most popular supercars in, in Jailbreak actually. This was, this was actually the first supercar added. Um, yeah, and I think it was in the second jailbreak update, but after it came out. But yeah, this thing, they need to update it for sure. It looks really outdated and it doesn't have an interior. Um, and also, Asimo did say if time permits, they're going to have something robbery related. It's definitely not a new robbery. And he also did tweet that it's not bank related. So it has nothing to do with the bank. So I was kind of right um, when I did this video a, lot, um, a few days ago. I think um, I have two ideas of what this feature could possibly be. So my first idea, I explained it in my other video, but it c I think it could be like a zip line going from the jewelry store all the way down to the criminal base. So it could possibly be this. It's not bank related. So maybe if there's like campers right here or campers down there, I should say, maybe they should ban campers from coming up here. But maybe criminals would have to go up this piece of wood here onto this building go on top of the crane 
and then it would be high enough so it could have a zip line going all the way down to the base so you could collect your money without getting like getting like uh arrested or you know but my other idea of what the new robbery feature um could be added this one i'm not so likely it could happen because i think the zip line would make more sense because this really isn't a thing he could do like he could just do this with a, um he could just do this in like one second basically but buff your earnings from the cargo ship robbery because you only make like three thousand at the most or th three thirty five hundred at the most so yeah just make it so you get maybe like five or um five six seven grand from robbing each crate and then you could rob like i don't know uh 14 or or 12 grand from um if you rob the cargo ship a second time because cargo ship is pretty difficult and you hardly make anything especially if you don't own the pass and guys, one more thing that I haven't talked to you guys about that I just discovered actually this this morning. Um, so, if Bad CC is not busy, it looks like they're yet again updating the UI GUI for this game. So, we could yet again get another GUI, or maybe just get this GUI updated. I'm guessing um, maybe they'll just add more to this G GUI. Maybe make it a, l a little bit bigger. Um, I think I think because. Um, yeah, Simo did seem pretty excited about that, so I bet it would be some um, kind of a big deal for this UI. So we could get a totally different UI, um, I'm guessing. And before I end the video, guys, I want to talk to you guys about one more thing, and I bet all of you guys are like kind of worried about this. Will bad CC's like job in college and all that affect um, affect the lack of updates in Jailbreak or the lack of content or or um, you know what I mean? And the answer is no, it won't affect a Simo's just really, or I mean, Bad CC's just really busy uh, moving for college and just getting his job. I think he works at like a Tesla or something, I don't know, but um, yeah, it won't affect the lack of updates. So yeah, the updates will just stay out monthly. They won't get worse. They won't get better. Just stay normal. Um, so you don't need to worry too much about it. So um, it's all good. So Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, if I get more info for you guys, I'll definitely do a video of me talking about it. Um, anyways, guys, peace out.